So here I've drawn, I guess, nine triangles. And let's talk about how to draw this using graphics in Mathematica. And for, for anything that's a little complicated like this, it's always good to think about how can you break it up into different pieces? How can you break like the procedure of drawing these nine triangles? How can you break that up into more manageable steps? And then lots of times the end result is going to be difficult to read, but as long as you build it up step by step, you'll be correct. So. Um, my method for thinking about this is to, let's first think about where these triangles are located. So let me think about the bottom vertex of each of these triangles. So let me just draw those bottom vertices with some dots. And let me think about some labelings for these. So uh, let me say that this middle column, this column of symmetry, is x equals 0. And then let's say this one, for example, is x equals negative 1. And let's say this bottom row is row y equals 0, then row y equals 1, and top is row y equals 2. And maybe it seems like I'm going to too much effort for making this, but once we make it in a careful way, I can easily change this number 2 to a number 20, say, and I'll get a much bigger image that, that I could make with like zero extra effort. So, but let's first concentrate on this one that has this, these different rows for y from 0 to 2. And so uh, let's, let's make just these particular points. So for example, this one would be the point 1, 1, or this would be the point 1, 2. Let's try to make a list that has those points in it. So uh, let's do that with, so it's going to be a list of points. So that's going to be like a list of lists. So we're going to do table, table, And then for the outer one, let's do a y from 0 to 2. So y start at 0, go up to 2. Okay, it automatically increments by 1. And then for this inner part, here I have to think about it a little more. Okay, and maybe I'll write it down here to give myself some more space. And uh, here I want to go from 0 to 0. Here I want to go from negative 1 to 1. I'm thinking about what are the x-coordinates. Here I want to go from negative 2 to 2. So this part here, we want to go from, so x, that's going to go from negative y to y. Okay, so for example, when y is equal to 2, we want a x to go from negative 2 to 2. And there are five numbers there, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And then what's this point going to be? Okay, well, this point is going to be, I guess this is the easiest part, just x comma y. So if I try writing this whole thing out, what am I going to get? I'm going to get a list of lists, and each of those lists is going to have a point in it. So really, it's a list of lists of lists, but that's OK. And we start with y equals 0, x equals 0. And let's see. So, uh, let me think for a second. So this inner table, it's going to just be this little length one list, x from 0 to 0, with just this one point in it. OK, then the next one, this is probably more interesting. y is equal to 1. x starts out at negative 1. So we're going to have this point, negative 1, 1. And then let me do one more, and then I'm going to stop. Total this inside list is going to be length 3. So next we're going to have 0, 1. OK, x is 0, y is 1.
So uh, what have I done? I, and I haven't done that much, but what I've done is I've found the bottom vertex of each of these nine triangles. So, uh, so next, here, let's replace this with something that actually produces a triangle. So uh, let's replace this with triangle. And what's the syntax for triangle? Well, triangle takes as input a list of points. So my first point can just be this bottom one, doesn't matter what order I go in. So x comma y. Hey, but having that one point is not enough. I also have to have two more points. So what are the next points? Well, let's think about this one here. So on the lower, lowermost triangle, this upper right vertex, what is that? Well, it's halfway between x equals 0 and x equals 1. So it's x equals 0.5. Or if I want to write that in a more systematic way, I want to increase by 0 0.5. And how much does y increase by? Well, it increases by 1. Hey, I want it to be at the exact same level as the lower vertices of this next row. Okay, so this can be y plus 1. Okay, and then, so I have two of the three points of the triangle, two of the three vertices. Next one, x minus 0.5. Okay, this is the upper left, so that's why it's minus 0.5, and it's the same height, so y plus 1. And now we're, we're basically done, but if you just type this stuff, so this table, table, triangle, this junk, x, negative y, y, y is 0, 2. So you can tell the, that it gets complicated fast, but as long as you build it up piece by piece, it'll almost work. But the problem is, if we evaluate that, what are we going to see? We're going to see this big list of the word triangle a bunch of times. And that's not what I want. I really want it to be drawn like this. And so um, how can I do that? How can I get the, the final answer? So well, I just have to combine these two different lines. So I write graphics. Okay, and now I tell it, what stuff do I want to take graphics of? I want to take graphics of this, okay, this list of lists, so this table bracket, table bracket. Okay, and then triangle. And so that all goes here. Then we like end the triangle. And then we have x negative y to y. Okay, then we end this inner table. And then we have y from 0 to 2. And if you want to try making a more interesting picture, like one that I would never be able to make on the, the board myself, okay, try changing this to something like 50. And if you want to make it really interesting, you could replace this triangle with something like hue. Okay, this is telling it what color to use. I could do something like hue of x over 50 plus y over 50. Okay, I, I don't want it to be a big integer because every integer looks the same when I plug it into hue. So I want this to be some decimal. For example, hue of 2.7, that's the exact same of hue of 0.7. So that's why I'm trying to shrink this so that it's not just a bunch of integers, but it actually has some decimal parts. That's why I'm dividing by this 50. Okay, and then I write triangle here. Okay, so uh, this brace here would go like this. And if you try doing that, you'll see that it's not all one constant color. Like if you don't have hue, they're all going to be in black. Instead, it's going to be this nice, like, progressive pattern of changing colors 
in, in this direction here, like changing colors along these lines. So the colors will be constant along a line x plus y equals constant. So along these lines of slope equal negative 1. So it, what was the main overall goal of this? Goal certainly isn't to memorize some complicated expression like this. The, the goal was to give this idea of break up the problem into bite-sized pieces, like first figure out how to produce these vertices, then produce how to figure out how to produce a single triangle, and then like put it all together in this eventual line of code that I have written down here.